What's up everyone? Toy Insanity here and I'm down at the Quartz Mound portion of the Toy Creek with something brand new. They're called Beaker Creatures. First I want to show you, since last time I was here, I did a Fizz and Fine Friday here. Someone has smashed out a big chunk of the little Quartz Mound. You can see from here to here to here to here to here. And then all the little pieces that fell apart when they carved it out, or just knocked it out. Beautiful quartz crystals, but you can see the, the piece goes all the way to here to here, and then beyond, well beyond, yeah, way beyond. Anyway, we're not rock insanity, we're toy insanity. Yeah, this is all quartz, I'm sitting on quartz. Toy Insanity Beaker Creatures right up my alley. I can't believe no one's ever told me about these. Mysterious creatures from distant planets have landed on Earth. Dissolve their reactor pods and see which creatures you'll discover. I could have done this in a Fizz and Fine Friday. Huh. Hopefully I find more. But look at this set. Astrolites, Oceanites, Frostonians, Buglets, and Minosaurs. Good name. Unwrap and drop the pot in water. Watch the reaction. Then, ex oh, they missed a chance to say, watch the reaction, then go for the extraction. Identify your creature. Seven piece set includes a reactor pod with its two figures, two cards, and a one biodome. And two mini posters. It better not just be the back of the card. Hyclops, Blurk, Orbit, Murph, Cosmo, Twinkle. Great one-word names. But, dude, right up my alley. Dude, I want these figures. Well, I'll tell you right away a couple things. I don't, I don't like this. Uh, well, it's it's pricey. First of all, this is a, this is what I don't like. Tiny, tiny figure. Those figures on that checklist with that with those names and these designs deserved to be two inch figures, right right around there. Right around there. These are tiny. These are so tiny. These are just Shopkins grocery gang size figures for five dollars a piece, because that's the other obvious problem. You only get two for ten dollars. Yet, they're suggesting you collect all of those. That's $30, 60 90 120 That's $150 if, because here's the third problem, if you're able to even find them. These have such a limited distribution. These are only at, as far as I know, uh, please tell me if you see them anywhere else. Maybe some of those independent teacher stores. Because even though this is just a fizz and fine, fizz and surprise, same as the dino, same as the mermaids from Moose, they're trying to put this stem spin on it. And they're putting them in like the, I don't know, they're, they're marketed as like learning, discovery, science toys. It's just the same thing. Learning Resources UK. Well, maybe that's an issue. They're import. This is, this is a UK brand. But those sculpts, those sculpts are undeniable. We got Blizzard in the pack with green. And we got Blizzard is a Frostonian. And then we got, this is a, gotta be a bug. Ganate, Ganate the Ganat in the buglets. He came with a pink pod. Do you think with Ganate, it's gonna be another? bug. I hope they're scented. They're tangy. Alright, so I'm unwrapping with my teeth the plastic of this. So we can get to fizzing. There is a scent. Let's put them right in this little hidey hole. Whoa.
Well, Moose has their... Moose has a better fizzy composition. I was going to say they have their formula down pat. This sucker is barely fizzing. And sadly, this looks like... This looks kind of like blood. It's really bright here, but when you look at it down there... Oh, man. The diffusion down that way looks like bloody water. Let me go and get the plastic off the green one. And then it comes in a... In a vending machine capsule. Which is... Which... I say it like that because now... It's so sad that I paid $5 for a vending machine toy. I paid $5 a piece for four vending machine toys. Alright. Got the green one. I'm going to put them over here. Yeah, Moose and their fizzing surprise. They got the fizzy formula down pat. So this is blood and slime, folks. Blood and slime time. The reason it's floating, I'm sure, is just because of the vending machine capsule inside. You know, it's a it's a little air pocket. Alright. So the one that came with this guy, Ganate, is... Clomp. Clomp is a mini sore. And the one that came with Blizzard is Mirth, an astrolite. This is also odd. You can see these are all solid on the bottom, except this one's hollow. No consistency. You can see they're the same size, too. It's not like we're saving mass, saving money on plastic. Saving money on those $5 tiny... Look how tiny... Guys, that's 20 bucks. That's 20 American dollars. But you're going to say, wait, there's one more thing in that pack... Home sweet home. Beaker creatures, learning resources, ink. I thought they were all going to be plug bottom, and then there's going to be a plug in the canister. Okay. Alright, here's what's up. The character cards are still in here. They're very tiny. They're, they're just checklists. They're, they're not showing the actual character. And then there's two mini posters. This one says Flit Pedal. And then there you go. There you go, folks. This is why it's a STEM toy. Whether they fly, crawl, or slither, earth bugs are fascinating. Take our buglets quiz and see for yourself. Ladybugs keep plants healthy by eating the other bugs that munch on their leaves. How many aphids can a ladybug eat in a day? I'm going to say 500. And that is wrong. It's 50. Ladybugs can eat 50 other bugs a day. I guess way high, huh? Fire ants get their name from both their reddish color and the painful methods they use to fight enemies. How does the fire ant attack with a bite and sting? Yes, with claws with a tiny blowtorch. Ha ha ha, with a tiny blowtorch. Okay, it's the bite. People might find blood-sucking leeches gross, but they're sometimes used by doctors to help patients. Really? In current year? What do they do? They cure runny noses, they scare away Dracula, they, pre they prevent blood clots, which is C. Why are they doing... Okay. Katydids are famous for their loud voices and ability to hide from predators. What are these sly bugs often mistaken for? 
A blade of grass, a leaf, a harmonica. <laughs> oh my goodness. Blood and slime. Woo! This is a bonus. I didn't know I'd be taking a quiz. There's a Rocky and Doug. Back to the stem element of this toy line. Teeth and horns and claws. Oh my, we many soars are learning all about the prehistoric animals that used to live on Earth. Join us. Flying pterodons aren't dinosaurs. They're pterosaurs. What does the name pterosaur mean in ancient Greek? Big bird, winged lizard, old airplane. How about winged bird? Scientists thought dinosaurs were scaly, but now they think some may have been covered in something softer. What do we think? Covered some dinosaur skin. Fur, really big blankets, or feathers. Let's go with feathers. Since we first discovered dinosaurs' fossils, many scientists have devoted their careers to studying them. What are these fossil experts called? Paleontologists. Not monsterologists. I'm, I'm a monsterologist. Got a P-H-double-D. Although it may have weighed more than 45,000 pounds, the apatosaurus only ate plants. What are plant-eating animals called? Leaf munchers herbivores, or grass lovers. How about all the above? What are greedy, greedy vegans called? They are called leaf munchers and grass lovers. Ah, let's look in the other capsule. Here's the bonus checklist. And our pop quiz. Have a quick look at the beaker creatures while I unfold the pop quizzes. Mini poster, drifting, and QB. We Frostonians aren't the only cool creatures out there. Discover some real world critters from Earth's coldest places. One, the narwhal is known for its single long horn, but that horn isn't a horn at all. What is it? I do like this question. It is a tusk or tooth. I hate when toy makers put the narwhal's horn on the top of its head. This does really, this really, I do like this question. This truly annoys me. This really eats at my OCD. It is a tooth. They don't put it in his mouth. They put it on the top of his freaking head all the time, every time. Every narwhal toy ever, probably, at least that I've found. The musk ox is one of the biggest cold weather creatures out there. How much musk can a musk ox, mox, a musk ox could musk ox? The answer is up to eight pounds of the. Oh, 800 pounds, definitely. I've seen him. Canada. Canada. Up there in Alberta. Puffins look cute and cuddly, but they're also speedy flyers. How fast can a puffin puff? 5 miles per hour, 55 miles per hour, 550 miles per hour. I think I'm going to have to go with B. Polar bears grow up to be huge, but when they're born, they're tiny. How small are small, how small are smaller smears? Size of a bee? <laughs> the size of a bee? The size of a kitten? The size of a pin? Let's say the size of a kitten. Got one more quick pop quiz. Courtesy of the astrolites, the blood, the slime, and the beaker creatures. There's the poster. Blurk. Cosmo. Cosmo Brown, what you gonna do? From distant stars to the moon in our sky, space is filled with awesome science. Take our astrolites quiz and you'll see. There are astronauts living in space right now aboard the ISS. What is the record for most time spent living in space? Eight days, 87 days, 879 days. I'm going to say 879. Yeah, definitely. Thanks to the iron in its soil, the closest planet to Earth goes by the nickname of the Red Planet. What is the planet's proper name? That is Mars. Ancient civilizations connected bright stars in the sky to draw pictures and patterns. What are these called? Laser shows, constellations, or photocopies? Let's go with constellations. We live in the Milky Way galaxy, but we also have neighboring galaxies in the universe. What is the galaxy close to the Milky Way? Andromeda, candy bar, or pinwheel? <coughs> Excuse me. It's Andromeda. Guys, I'm Toy Insanity. Thanks for joining me for this Toy Fest at a brand new toy line. Look at the toy line called the Beaker Creatures. We got four Beaker Creatures. It costs 20 bucks. 20 freaking dollars. Learning resources. Check them out. I found them at Barnes & Noble. Let me know if you find them anywhere else. Look at this little... Okay. So I was about to say it's a sweat bee, but it's actually a type of fly. 
See the two wings instead of four wings? It's licking up, it's sucking up that blood and blood and slime. This is my beaker creature. Let's give him a funny name. No, we already got the funny name. Flyo. See it down there? Flyo! Fly away home, Mr. Flyo. You're not a big creature, but you can come around and be in the toy insanity feature. Alright, take care, guys.